morning. It's Tuesday, November 3rd. And I am back with another haul. Um, and yeah, we're going to label this one homeschool. It's educational. I know we don't do too much in the way of toys unless it is educational, but I had actually been looking for something that my older kids had. Hi, Mama. Hi, Di. And um, I haven't found it yet. I found pieces of it. So I know it's still out there. It's just going to be a hard to find item, but um, one day eventually I might find it. So it's still on the list, but I came across this. See your train? This is the, and I can't even think of the name of it. Um, Zion, seriously? Yeah. Okay. It's the Elmo train, that's what we're going to call it. I think it's called the Play and Learn or something like that. I'll put it in the description box. Um, <clears throat> But let me see. Can I? Let me see that for one second. Oh, it's already on. Hello there. Let's go for a ride with I think it's laugh and learn, maybe. Roll it. Let me see you roll it. Roll it. So, we came with the engine. The one thing that has grown wings. <laughs> Excuse me is the cold car here's the back of the cold car it lets down and then the rest of the a car can roll up on it but um it's somewhere around here but i liked it because I know it's kind of hard to pick up but you can see the tracks the alphabet is along the tracks and then on this one the the um numbers are on the track it goes up to 20. you want to roll it and you can hear it. Good job. So, and then it has this cool little ramp over here, and then the little flags, and there's some stop signs down there. Let me take that ramp off and show you what it does. So, this converts, and I pulled it apart, but um. You gonna fix it for me? All right, there it goes. It converts to a figure eight. So they are in here. They love this thing, and it came in. Yes, you can. Um, you can play with her. So it came in about two weeks ago. I paid about ten dollars for it. I feel Leah. Roll it. Roll the car. We didn't find the coal car yet? No, I didn't find it yet. Mom, it is still in here. Okay, it may be in the living room somewhere. And that, I don't know how, since I cleaned up, but. Yes. He's dying. Roll it. What else does he say? The ABC. <laughs> Something. Sesame Street Junction. Is that what it call, what it's called? What is called, Leah? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And it does have an off switch on the bottom because sometimes that thing just yeah. And then she wanted to sleep with it. So, so, anywho, I am going to kind of pan around the room and show you because I didn't yesterday. What did you find? Mom, you found the coal car. Yeah, you want to put it down? Where's the ramp? It's right here. There you go. 
All right, so let me pan around this room a little bit. Let me back up and start. I don't know how much I'm going to get, but here is, I'm standing in the hallway, actually. And I can only get half the room because it's a decent sized room. But there you go. So here is the art area that I talked about. Just roll them, please. Take your pictures. I did. Thank you very much. Is that for you? Here is the chalkboard paint. This whole setup. Let's see. There you go. Mom, guess what I draw, drew? Yes. You drew a picture for me? Mom, you think you drew I would say roughly uh, no more than $15. Do I did. With the paint, the oh. dollar store labels. Everything else was dollar store. Except for the paint. And up there. So basically, uh -oh, I just pulled the, <laughs> pulled the string off that we used to um, clip the paper on for painting. And pull up the pull up the shower curtain liner. I will in just a minute. Okay. So in this jar of paint, this is eight ounces. Look what I do. Yes. And you can see how nice. This is a pretty large area. I want to draw that. Okay, I will take the tie off in a few minutes if you let me finish this video, okay? Dad, tie off. Yeah. Now you can write. Okay. All right, so there that is. But we have my paint can again. Let's see if it tells me how. Share. Approximately ten feet, ten point seven five feet. So that's a pretty good area. And I, I only did one coat because I didn't want it too dark. And it's really dark. I mean, I didn't want it darker than this. Eight, eight ounces is not bad. Anywho. Here's the rest of the room. There are the shelves. Good job. I'm trying to stabilize as much as I can. Here's the closet. There's our little scrunch map hanging here. Kids' pictures. And then we're in the hall again. So go back around. Let's see. Just a minute. Mm, you made an L. Nice. You made a little L. Very nice. I like that. Don't. Don't. So, mom. There's the door. That is the scope of the room. That's it. Very easy to clean the whiteboards there. All we do is wipe it down. And the cool thing is I can turn it over if I'm busy and not wanting to clean it. And they can use the reverse side until I get a chance to clean it. Complete with the black guy. Complete with black. But yeah. Kids loved Madagascar. So. That was the concept for coming up with um, Africa, Madagascar theme room. If you did not check out the reveal video, go back and watch yesterday's. 
I pretty much explained everything. You want to put it back together? No. No. About this is it comes apart easily, and it um uh oh folds up very easily for storage. The way I had it the first time, it folds with the two uh the two two tracks. It could fold up and sit just like that. And all the cars can store inside of the station. So. What you doing? Where's little Bill? Is he up on? Yeah. He's right there. Ooh. He's right here. He's right here. Yeah. Who else do we have? We have uh, mm. We have Paper. a dog. You have the puppet. <laughs> Who do you have, Leah? Oh, baby Bob. Oh, I was saying hi to you. Hi. Who do you have? Oh, baby Bob. You have your ladybug pillow? Oh. Um, yes. They're Elmo brothers. They're Elmo brothers. Mama, get Elmo. I see him. Mom, did you get that money? Where's Big Bird? Mom, did you get that money from the bank? Where's Big Bird? Right there. I see that. Look what Elmo 